guess what, you guys? I, uh, I got something in the mail. I told you I was gonna do this ahead of time before we actually go and travel. Hi, welcome to the day, by the way. I, I told you I was gonna do this ahead of time because I think travel season is starting. Like people are gonna go on midwinter break vacations. If you have midwinter break, East or West Coast um, schools district do. So I think it's a thing. But also just I think some of you are starting to travel and make plans. And so I have, oh, did you see it? I have an order I just got from Amazon. Decided to er order it ahead of time, not only for me to practice with and to show, but to show you. So, and I have another purpose for it before we actually go to Japan and Hawaii, but you have to stay tuned for that. I'm not giving away all my secrets. So I did order some packing cubes for both me and for the family in general. We have some like this, um, they're all different brands. I didn't get um, like specific name brand, like the tripped ones we have. They're just more expensive and I just didn't have the budget for them. But I got a couple different sets. I got these two, look how cute that one is. Um, I got two different sizes. There's one of them in here that's a really long skinny one and it's gonna work well for a couple different reasons in it, the different bags that we need to use it for, the different times we need to use it. But I also got this bad boy. Okay, it's not just a backpack. I have a billion other things to do, including cleaning up the kitchen. And yes, the crumble cookies are almost gone. And I'm listening to a podcast and I'm trying to like get going for the day. It's only 9.45, but I, I just, I'm so excited about this backpack. So I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the backpack. Yes, we're gonna tour the backpack and then I will get my things done. I'll take you along for the day. And then we're gonna I have time. I have time today. We might go and like pre-pack this or practice pack it. Pack it. Um, I could pack like my tank tops and my swimsuits and things like that. Battery splashing. So ooh, ooh, ooh. we're gonna change the battery and then we're gonna give you a tour of this new backpack. All right, come over here so I can kind of set it down, but also like set it up if I need to. Okay, um, I'm trying to decide if I show you like the, the actual reason why I, yeah, let's just do, let's do the main reason why I bought this kind of travel bag. All right, first there's little clips on the side that you can use to cinch the bag up and make it tighter. The main reason I got this bag in particular or this style was because it opens up like a suitcase. And it actually came with not compression bags, but it did come with packing cubes, which I will let some of the kids use that don't need to pack their stuff quite as tight as me and Jason and like Kaylee and Abby need to. Like Chelsea and Ashley will probably use these. I didn't get the bag because of the packing cubes. It just happened to come with it. A lot of them did and it stuck to it. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna toss that aside. But you can see that this is just like a suitcase. Like it literally is open cube. The sides are nice and tall those straps stay inside right and look how high it comes up like this is like a full-on like one side of a carry-on suitcase right maybe a smaller version of a carry-on suitcase but it is not like a backpack in that you kind of just lose the space right or lose stuff in the space but that's what where the packing cubes come in handy I'm actually going to use my compression bag for this suitcase this suitcase so I can get a ton of stuff into this bag and then you cinch it all down and there's an extra pocket pocket up there or a sleeve I should say. So another reason why I got the other compression cubes that had long and skinny compression set bag was that I could put like long skinny ones in here. Like I could fill it with like underwear or socks and it can lay more flat because this I don't want this to be bulky but it's a long and kind of a cylinder style so I can get it into this this type of pocket. So this not only like cinches up nice and tight inside it but then when you close it you can also cinch it like I said from the outside. So you have that interior pocket there. And then on the outside, we have another pocket that is on here. And it, this has your laptop pouch that has padding in here. So I can put my laptop in here. I have my notebook that I bring for my editing. I can put notebook in here or a book or anything like that. And it kind of like expands out. Plus there's a, what do you call this? A Velcro and it has, it's actually elastic. And so I can like cinch that up nice and tight and keep the laptop in there secure. But then there's room like out here. I can actually like put stuff in here. And actually part of the reason I want one of those packing cubes to be long and cylinder style is to put into this front pouch. And this is kind of why I want to practice with it because I'm used to packing things in bigger, bulkier little compartments. Like I have that little, it's kind of like a utility, it's an actual bathroom, like utility bag, like a, a I don't know, those ditty bag type thing. Caddy, that's the word. It's a bathroom caddy that I've used in the past because it kind of set right down inside my old, my other backpack, my other travel 
travel one and I could put like all the medicine and like the things I wanted to have access to on the plane or you know as we're traveling um, with the stuff I wanted it on me. I don't have room in this backpack or even in my carry-on for a big bulky thing like that. I want to put that kind of medicine and like the band-aids and like kind of the emergency stuff that you want along the way just in case into it one of those really long skinny compression bags so that I can fit it and slide it down into this compartment and be able to still access it but I can fit like that onto one side and still put another something or other um, on this side like maybe like my Pringles that I like to travel with that need a nice little skinny tall spot <laughs> I've been trying to think like how do I pack like differently in this bag versus the travel bags that I've packed in the past and one of my compression bags might be a snack bag that fits down on this other side um, but it's in a longer in you know what I mean I don't know this is why we're gonna practice with it okay so then on the front of the backpack, there is a zipper pouch here that I could put some snacks. I could do a little bag here with snacks or other supplies. I don't want it to be too bulky because this one doesn't have like a lot of depth to it. You can see this is, there's no extra depth to this kind of a pouch. I don't want it to like, it can't expand out very much. So I'll have to decide what goes into that pouch. And I definitely don't want to put anything in here that someone could unzip this and take out. Also where the backpack straps are. So it's kind of like a dual. If the if these straps hold out, um, the backpack straps have the little chest clip as well to keep it more comfortable, but then they can fold back in at, if you don't want to use the backpack style. Okay, so for the back, we've got that zipper pouch there that does the backpack straps, but there's also a strap here that hooks onto your carry-on bag. And I can't tell you how annoying it is to have backpacks for the kids and they can't attach it to their carry-on. They always have a backpack and they always have a carry-on and it is so annoying to try and hook a backpack onto their carry-on thing. It's always falling off. It's always a stress. Like this was one of my number one things besides like the big, huge compartment was to make sure that it had this strap. I am, I'm hooking this onto my carry-on bag, like on my carry-on suitcase. I don't want to have to carry things if I don't want to. I need to like work my camera. Like I, my hand needs to be free for this and for the passports and like I gotta like have my hands free. So this is like huge deal to have this right here. All right, so now kind of gotten a basic overview front, back, and the inside. One of the perks is the side handle. Turn it sideways if you want to just be able to walk through the airplane. Like when you can't have it on the back of the carry-on bag anymore. You just want to like grab it really quick without having to pull out the backpack straps. There's a um, handle right here on the side. You can grip it and, and hold it that way. There's also a handle on the top, obviously, to be able to get it this way. But then you have like both. Like if you want to grab it from both sides, if it's really heavy, you can do that. On the other side is the water bottle pouch. And I think this is a really cool idea because it cinches up um, nice and tight when you're not using it. Um, I don't know who has a, a, that skinny of a water bottle, but if you have a skinny one, you could do it that way. But otherwise you unzip it and it has an actual like mesh, like, and this is elastic and it will actually fit like a bigger sized water bottle down inside that little compartment. And then you can use this little bungee cord here to attach to the top of the water bottle to hold and cinch the water bottle into the backpack so it doesn't fall out. So it's just so many ideas, so many things, so many like features of this bag that I'm very excited to try out. I don't know, maybe I'm just a travel geek. <laughs> I don't know why this kind of stuff like makes me excited. I think a lot of it is because it makes travel a lot easier. I get, when I get stressed, when I get claustrophobic, hot, worried, rushed, when I'm traveling, because like there's a lot on the line when you're in all those scenarios. When you're rushed, you're late, you're like the plane is late. You know, like all these scenarios, like you wanna have everything where it needs to be, know where it is, quick responses. And I have three kids to take care of on this trip and then adding Kaylee and Jacob on the way home I just need to know where things are I need to like have things that are easy access so I'm excited to like practice with this let me show you the different sizes of this set of compression cubes um, and why I wanted this one it has the little one and then here's a medium sized one a lot of these will fit better in um, a carry-on bag but or yeah like in the actual suitcase but some of the smaller ones I can get two or three of the smaller ones into that back and so kind of we'll 
we'll do mix and match, I think. So that one is that set. So there's, really there's four of them. Small, medium, medium, and large for those ones. And then these guys, there is like a medium size one for this size. And then we have two small ones that are the same size. And this is the long kind of cylinder style, rectangle style skinny one. And they even say bras, underwear, socks, um, because they can roll up and fit in here really nice. I also appreciate that they opened this one from the side. So you can open this whole thing, whole thing up and not have it just open from the top and you have to shove it down in. Um, but this one opens up all the way. So you could roll up all of your um, underwear, socks, whatnot. But what I might do is put in, I'll just show you. I'm gonna, I'll show you what I'm gonna put in it. But you have little individual pockets here. You could put underwear, sock. That way they're kind of contained. Um, I don't know. It's like, it's so cool. I wonder if the other ones have that same mesh on the inside. No, these ones don't. So it's just this little underwear one that has little pocket. I think that's great. Little underwear pocket. Put that in or sock. It wouldn't fit my sock. Actually, they might fit like my the house ones, I should say, but I'm not going to take those ones with me. I like to have socks in hotel rooms. I don't know. I'm just weird. I like to put lotion on my feet at the end of the day and wear little teeny tiny sock. I'm wearing them right now. Just these little teeny tiny socks. So these ones would fit rolled up into these little pockets. So maybe I will be able to take some on this trip. I'm trying to be very minimal um, for this trip. These ones are going to be great, but let me show you what I might might use this compartment here for. See, I have a bag thing. Every bag has a purpose. This is my, if you're new here, <laughs> This is my um, crossbody bag that I use on the daily. Um, I'll talk about that and travel ideas as well. But this is my main bag. All of you I have converted to lug bags. Give a shout out to yourself if you have been a convert. I absolutely love my lug bag. I really, really do. It has a lot of purpose and I will use it again in the future. Um, but this is what I'm saying. Like I love the big open space that this bag has. And I use this little utility ditty caddy in this bag because I can have everything everything contained in this little bag. I'll show you what the remainder things are in here and then I add to it. But if I have that down in here, I can still stick something on the side. Like I can have like two drinks plus my Pringles, plus a bag of snacks, plus my computer, my notebooks, a book. I can fit a ton of stuff in here, but I have open access to get down into it. Um, and like this one here, see it has our Meclizine in it already. We have some acetaminophen. This is just what I have packed. Oh, Skittles. <laughs> Um, so this is, you know, what I've used in the past and I don't think that this bag is going to fit as much as I would love, love it to. It has a lot of good purposes to it. I think I have to pack differently. I think I have to take some of these medicine things and I'm ordering some medicine containers on Amazon as well. I just didn't order it with this set of backpacks. Um, I just going to have to do it differently. Um, we're going to talk about that bag in just a second, but I have an idea for that. So I think I'm gonna have to like order pill cases. I know like old person pill cases, but the ones I'm ordering are actually gonna be really cool. Um, and I think they're gonna work better for travel and they'll definitely work better in here. Um, and I'll have access to them. If I need them, I can just reach into the bag and pull this guy out. Like this, this will fit in. Let's just try it here. Obviously it's gonna be full with stuff, but I can just reach in and grab that and it fits into here and I still have room in this side of the pocket. But the idea for me that I have to kind of switch to is I don't have bulk space like this way um, and I don't have a big huge pocket to like compartment in things into this way. And so I have to kind of do a long, long, longitudinal, what's the word? Like a long, I don't even know what the word is. <laughs> you guys can tell me. Um, I just have to pack things differently this time and I think this will be easy pull it out, give Chelsea her meclizine if we need to, you know, medicine for headaches or whatnot. But then I still have room for another pocket. Um, maybe I'm going to do another pouch with some candies and like airplane snack. And then I have room on the outside for my water bottle to go here. But then maybe I want to put like a bottle of soda inside the backpack. I just don't have a lot of depth in this pouch. And so I need to utilize things that are long. So, so anyway, this is, this is what goes through my brain. And I think all this kind of stuff through and I don't know. Know, like how do I make it all work but then like when we actually go to travel and Jason makes fun of me but then when we actually go to travel and I'm putting these things all together giving the kids their packing cubes and it all flows together and it all works out I always get a little oh, that was a good idea that was a really good idea so pin a star on mom's nose for coming up with these ideas now I'm not positive what I'm gonna do with that um, with my crossbody bag this one right here it too is the lug 
We love our lugs and my cute little pins. Like this is the perfect bag to travel with. Problem is I'm at my two bag capacity for getting on a plane. In the past, we we haven't had everyone have their two capacity. Like we've never maxed every single person out. So I've been able to do my purse plus like a carry-on bag plus my like, uh, what do you call it? My travel bag here in the past um, because like one kid doesn't have an extra carry-on bag. Like Chelsea and Ashley are sharing a carry-on bag. So I have the extra person to count as taking my carry-on bag. Everyone is doubling up. Everyone's doing backpack. Everyone is doing a carry-on suitcase. So I will not be able to officially wear this in the airport. I might pack it empty into my backpack. Obviously it has to go into one of the bags. I might pack entry empty and then use it once we get there. I think I, it, it'll lay nice and flat inside my suitcase. I just can't imagine like traveling around for two weeks and not being able to have easy access to, it just works so well. It just works so well. So anyway, I have to get some things done. A little bit later today, I will, we'll do a little practice run on packing up that uh, suitcase and give you a little teaser how I might pack it for a trip to Hawaii and Japan coming up soon. But also you'll see another way that I'm gonna use it in the near future. Yes, I'm going somewhere. Stay tuned. I left for a second and I was gonna finish editing but my computer has, I mean, it's turned on now, but I accidentally let it like completely die because I, there's only two slots to put like USB or power into on a Mac. And um, I was trying to transfer data with the two file, the two drives, my old one and my new one. Chelsea is now home. Um, she's making a pizza, but I'm gonna take this stuff up. I just know how Ashley is. <laughs> if I don't get this stuff done before she gets home from school, um, she's gonna be like, what are we gonna do? Let's go do something before we go to cheer. So we're gonna take these upstairs. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of a practice. Obviously, this is not everything I'm gonna pack, but I want to see how much I can get into this backpack. That's kind of a little bit of a dry run. So let's go in here. Plus, I'm hot. Oh, and I left my door, my window open last night, so it feels really good in here. <laughs> I like a cold bedroom, but they're like cutting. What do you call it? Concrete outside. They're cutting like the sidewalks. Doing maintenance or something. So I'm gonna have to shut this window so it's not noisy for us. But it's nice and cold in here. Okay, I'm gonna gather up some stuff here. I'm not gonna like pack my makeup bag and things like that. I think I'm gonna use these guys. I'm not gonna necessarily pack this, but I may kind of fake it. Maybe I'll just put like some makeup. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll just put some socks in here. We'll just play around and kind of get this a little bit full and see if it slides down into the backpack. So I'm gonna pack some of the stuff I could actually pack and leave pack, like my swimsuits and my tank tops and my shorts. And I have a whole carry-on kit to pack, but I also have to um, fit like two snorkel masks, towels, and, like beach bag, shoes, <laughs> like some of the bulkier stuff I'm gonna have to put into my actual suitcase. So I'm gonna try and like utilize this one for like clothing, you know what I mean? All right, so I've got a stack of clothes. We're just kind of like playing around. These are just shorts and like my swim clothes and swim shorts and things like that. But I'm kind of playing around with what like packing cubes to use. It seems like this one might be too long. So then do I do like one like that? Obviously it's different when it's like all done. I don't know. So we're gonna have to just, those are the same size. Is that the same size? Nope. Yeah, that one's the same size, that one. So this is like where it could come in handy to have like a little skinny guy like this in that size. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have to use this guy in my front pocket. We're gonna start with this one. We're gonna pack this guy up. Okay, I've got one layer of rolled up short, or uh, yeah, shorts. So I've got two black, a workout short, my swim short, a swim cover wrap thing, and my swimsuit top, tankini, and bottoms. So then what I think I'm gonna do, usually I wear these shorts on the plane because they're kind of like good. If you spill something on them, they kind of cover up. Whereas like if you're well right. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to because I'm coming from Japan. I might be kind of cold on the plane, so I might have to wear pants. So I'm gonna layer up shorts and see how many I can add to this. Let's just do that for now. All right, in case you're new to compression bags, this is what a normal like packing cube would be, but a compression bags have a separate zipper and, I, and you compress it with the second zipper. Okay, there it is all compressed and taken down. So now 
you can see what it looks like. Oh, let me take this out. Put that on in there. Okay, totally fits in there really well. It's like room to spare, actually. I need to get it tucked in here better. All right, this is crazy. I have six tank tops in here, and this is very reasonable for what I would take. Um, even though we're only there for six or seven days, I do wear tank tops to work out in, or I want to maybe rent bikes. Um, and work out like going for a bike ride. But then I also wear tank tops um, at night to go out to restaurants. And then I also wear them um, over some suits. So it's like, I know I can do laundry, but I need them sometimes multiple per day. So it's like one, two, three days, I can go through six these six tank tops easily. So I need to have them a handy. And then I'm gonna stack in the other pairs of short. And this is kind of a big bulky like sundress, but I do like this. I wore this on our trip with Jason and I, and it was a nice dress to wear out to dinner at night so without being too fancy or too hot okay i'm gonna close this one up also just to give a rundown swimsuit um swim bottoms i had two pair three pairs of swim bottoms swimsuit bottoms two pairs of workout shorts and three pairs of regular daytime shorts all in this packing cube then i had six tank top a sundress and a pair of shorts in this guy that's really close to all the clothes that i'm taking uh asterisk for hawaii <laughs> If we were just going to Hawaii, th I'm close. But I have to pack, and this is part of my problem, is I have to pack bulky, like, pants. I have to pack t-shirts with sleeves or long sweatshirts. So my, my carry-on bag, like, while I'm doing great in this bag, my carry-on bag is going to have bulky stuff. So this is why I'm going through this now. But I'm also showing you how much you could pack in this sucker. We're doing pretty good. Okay, I easily, like th that's, these two medium size are absolutely perfect for this bag. These are, I'm gonna leave all this link down below. It's just from Amazon. And honestly, if you look at when you close it, there's like room. And I, again, I'm not filling this part up with like bulky stuff. So what I actually could do is like take this big bag that takes up like the whole thing or another one this size. I have a bunch of these packing cubes. So I, I have plenty to go around. Maybe this one has like, maybe this set has ones that are just a little bit smaller yeah that one might be a better size I could put like two or three pairs of pants in this that aren't like bulky like obviously I'm not gonna like put um, a jacket or a sweatshirt into this bag but I could definitely get like the thin pant fold them up twice put two pairs of pants in here two or three pairs of pants and kind of fill in the space that I have like this way do you know what I mean okay so we'll take that out I want to see what that looks like I'm just gonna put two pairs of pants in here Okay, I did two pairs of my like jogger pants and a t-shirt and a nicer blouse. Like, <laughs> plenty, plenty of room. Like, like maybe I'm kind of pulling on it a little bit. Let me see here. All right, I cinched it up. One-handed. <laughs> you saw me trying to like struggle to zip it up before one-handed. That is incredible. Okay. It's heavy. I wouldn't want to wear it, but I could. I can. That's pretty solid. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so then, kind of taking up too much time here. I could. Uh laptop and notebook definitely have to go in here i'm not taking any book but we could definitely we'll practice and we'll do some sock underwear in there and then i don't know i don't know okay without showing you my underwear well there's the bra but i've got just four pairs i didn't put the fifth one in a little mini sock and bras and i easily have like 10 plus pairs of underwear underneath there i'm gonna need them so let's see what we can this is not compressed yet all right, the bra put it over for compression. I don't want to like tighten it up too much. I'm going to take the bra out and we'll see if I can pack it down so that it just lays flat inside this. Okay, yeah, the ladies take up room in every way, shape, and form. <laughs> take out the bra and I'll have to do a separate bra bag. But yep, that definitely leaves me room for snacks and my laptop and a notebook. That's a pretty good size like compartment. You know, when I'm on the plane, I want to have access to snacks, drinks, headphones. That's definitely for that. I will do a little pouch right here for all the charging cords, headphones. That will all be into this pocket, but I definitely still have room in here for like plane stuff. Our flight to Japan is 15 hours, 10 to 15 hours. So we're, we're gonna need snacks. I have to like account for room, but I would say that is a very big bulk of what I need. 
and that's her water bottle there and that is the side handle I mean what do you guys think I think it's pretty dang good that guy slipped out because I didn't have it zipped up but I think I could actually so this has underwear in it now but I could trade that out and do like all the, the like emergency stuff like medicines I'm gonna buy a little medicine box so two medicine boxes um like we have like Clorox wipes or like disinfectant wipes for the plane maybe even like regular baby wipe wipe our hands with like this could be used for so many things and it would just slide right down into my bag and I would have really easy access to it and everything would be contained and same thing for my snacks I'm getting hot <laughs> So I'm gonna end there. This isn't necessarily like what I'm packing to go on this trip. I'm just giving you an idea of like how I'm possibly gonna use that kind of a backpack. It's gonna ha come in handy, like a ton. And I'm gonna get to practice with it coming up in a few weeks. I'm not gonna have to pack it nearly as tight as that, but I will need to take it with me. So I am in love with that bag. I'm absolutely in love with it. If we get tight, I'm gonna, I always pack ahead of time um, and I'm gonna have the girls pack. The bag Jason usually takes on the plane, like his backpack does not pack like that. And we're not gonna take like the drone and a major GoPro bag or box, it comes in a box. I'm not gonna take it like that. We're just gonna take the GoPro stick. We're not gonna take the drone this time to Hawaii. I don't wanna like fuss with it and like it's too bulky. So I'm going to pack for that trip at least two weeks early just to get an idea of what we, space we need. I might buy a second one of these for Jason if we start to run out of room in his carry-on bag because his carry-on backpack is, it literally cannot do that. It usually fits the drone, the GoPro box, his airplane pillow, and his snacks, and his laptop, and that's it, and like a water bottle. Like, <laughs> It's a big, bulky, heavy bag, and like it has like little teeny tiny pat like zippers in the front, but like he just puts like his power cord and like a power pack, and like that's it. So I might be ordering another one of those. The other backpacks that the girls have, they're their school backpacks, and so the entire compartment in the middle is like really open, and they could easily stick one packing cube in there and still have room for like car snacks and their laptop. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was gonna take you on my day, but I saw the footage from the first half of it, and I was like, there's no, <laughs> this is already like double the video, just trying to pack the bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are traveling soon or even in the future, consider getting a bag like this. It's kind of cool. I earn nothing, like there's no nothing on this. I don't even have an, an Amazon affiliate link. I will just put the link of what I where I got it from and see if you guys like it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you guys like to travel just as much as I do, you likely landed on my page. <laughs> so stick around if you like to travel. We have a major trip in case you are new. Japan, Hawaii. I have some other trips coming up as well. If you like to see travel and packing and excursions and all that kind of stuff, stick around. I will see you guys next time. Bye.